Hello everybody and welcome back to the Lord of the Rings, the Third Age walkthrough. Uh, we are vast or quickly approaching the end of Moria here. And uh, this belt buckle, if I remember right, I really like this one. So let's have a look-see here. Belt buckle of Moria gold. Yeah, wow, look at that. It's 13 speed. I think I'm probably going to be wearing that for quite some time. That's my guess. I guess we'll, well, I guess we'll see. Uh, a little bit of uh, armor reduction, but in all honesty, Hadhot is just so tanky that, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Well, yeah, I like that one. Uh, that's one of the cool things, though, too, about this game. I mean, really, if you're, you know, if you're building one way, you can... You can really focus on that. Uh, otherwise, you know, if you're if you more like kind of like the middle of the road type of stats, then that's an option too. So, anyways, all right. So, uh, looks like we've got a yep, forced encounter here, um, <clears throat> and it's not too much farther here. But I take a I take a fairly sizable break from from progressing and uh, actually I just develop my characters a bit uh, meaning I, I hang out in this, this area and uh, much just gain skills I don't know how much I leveled I'm not really sure but uh, I, I think I just spent most of my time just skilling up and uh, trying to trying to learn new abilities so once we actually get to the exact spot I will point that out but uh, it, it may or may not be fairly noticeable uh, as my characters will have a, a sizable power spike Wow the big miss Alright, anyways, as far as uh, tactics here, I don't think there's anything new. Yeah, nothing's looking... Oh, man. oh nice! Nice, I fully expected that Idriel was going to be stunned there, but it was not to be... Alright, let's keep rocking. Get the Fellowship Grace going now. Yeah, I, I see I still don't have the, the order right. It's, I should have used Might first, but... Alright, All right, we got our delay in that time. Better late than never. Uh, I don't know how necessary it was to buff Elagos with haste there. I mean, I don't know. In all honesty, it's kind of pointless. War call? That would have been a bad idea. Uh, speaking of war call, I've noticed a bit, um, and uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure exactly all the different abilities that your characters will use uh, when uh, when Barathor uses the the war call ability. Uh, I know for a while there, Hadhod was just using his regular attack command, and then once I got to bring it up, Hexcraft. I feel like once he got Mountain Rage, that was his next one. 
And then once I got, I think his final one is Durin Wrath. And that'll be the final attack that he'll use. Otherwise, I don't think he'll use anything else. Uh, Elagost, on the other hand, uh, if I remember right, he was using Aimed Shot for a while. And then once I got Draining Shot, he used that. And now, finally, he is using... Uh, true shot. So, you know, a fairly sizable range of different abilities there. Uh, Idriel was is kind of weird. And what I, what, I, what I mean by that is uh, I vaguely remember her just using her attack command at first. And then I, uh, I remember her using, like, Elven... Is it Elven Rage? And then, uh, finally, she went to Loudwater Fury. And that just seems weird to me because she, she knows Loudwater Fury at the beginning of the game. So I don't know why that is, and I don't know if there's some sort of level component to the whole thing. I really am not sure. But uh, unfortunately for me, uh, you know, I, I build her spirit, so... Uh, towards the beginning of the game where she's using Elven Fury, it's not, you know, she's not doing that much damage, whereas uh, at the end now, being that she's swapped over to Loudwater Fury, she is crushing enemies with that, so again, I guess just keep in mind that things are going to uh, change, you know, as you, as you get different abilities, so yeah, I don't know, I guess Elagost, Elagost was kind of an interesting one where he was using a draining shot for a while, and that was kind of neat. Uh, you know, because then you could you could actually technically use him to <laughs> kind of like heal himself, but on Barathor's turn. You know, so that's kind of interesting. All right, what do we got here? I see a vet or two. Is that two vets? No. I'm losing it. I'm going crazy here. Yeah, those are just the regular sword warriors. Yeah. All right. Still put them to sleep. As per usual. Crippling. I don't know. <laughs> Every time these goblins cast flames of Uden, I can only I, all I can think of is the Gandalf quote. I guess it's a good thing that we don't stay in Moria forever. Flame of Uden. <laughs> uh, my my Gandalf impression is absolutely atrocious. <laughs> I'll admit that. I'm okay with it. <clears throat> All right. Let's cripple some more dudes. Oh, or miss. Cat Hod's letting me down big time. Oh, you're gonna hit him with loud water, really? Okay. I'm trying to remember if these guys can be stunned or not. Something tells me no. I know they can't be slapped. Dark renewal. Normally I would be annoyed at that, but it doesn't really matter that much. Boom. Nice! I like the double criticals. Like seeing those, that's for sure. And here we go. Flaming Fury is kind of doing some work now. It's no fire, uh, Loudwater Fury, but. 
nothing to scoff at either. That's a shame that, uh, it actually is, that would be kind of cool if you could, uh, pick the moves that your, your party members use for war call and stuff. Although that would just be a little bit too crazy, I guess. Obviously, I'd probably pick crazy things like crippling shot and, and whatnot. Anyways, let's keep a move on here. Gotta keep on keeping on. Alright, looks like Hadod gets a couple more points for his spirit. Oh, and alright, Battle Hardened Armor is almost done. That's always good to see. How about Sleep, uh, sleep Volley? we still got three levels for that. It's so good once you get it, though. Oh my god, that passive is... I don't know, it's one of the best ones in the game. It's hard, it's really hard to, uh, to, to talk about a better passive, in all honesty. It's just, ugh. So good. So good. Have I said so good enough? I don't know. Maybe one more. So good. Uh, Dark Escape. I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but I'm, if I remember right, Dark Escape increases uh, the rate of dodges for the enemy. So, um, I guess, you know, if you see... A dodge that could be why. <laughs> uh, and unfortunately, right now, we don't have any way to get rid of enemy buffs. Uh, eventually, you will be able to. In fact, after Moria, you will be able to. Unfortunately, now we just have to deal with it. Whack. Alright, learn Stone Hewer. I think that uh, ability is pretty good, and if I remember right, it, it, it's based off of his spirit power. So, uh, you know, if you're building like I am, that actually could be a really, really good attack. Alright, what do we have left here? The last guy, the vet, yeah. All right. Taking care of business. Again, sorry about the crafting. I know that's it's not gonna last too much longer. There's a dodge. All right. So in cases like that, I'm not too. Str I'm not gonna stress too much about uh, you know about decks. No, I mean <laughs> I still kind of do, but at the same time, with that dark escape buff active, that's just gonna happen every once in a while. So. <clears throat> Anyhow, let's keep exploring. Oh, is that an unopened chest over there? Yeah. I think we we might have... Yep, one over here. And is it trapped? Oh, no. Okay. No trap. Here, I'm just standing around, just waiting for it. <laughs> uh, and I don't think there's anything over here. Just a lot of darkness. <laughs> darkness. And I don't think there's anything right here either. Nope, all clear. All right, let's keep keep moving along the paths. <laughs> don't look down, dude. <laughs> All right, what do we have here? A troll and a caster. Cool. Wow, okay. I'm going, going out for, I'm right out for blood right off the bat here on the caster. I just want to erase him. Take it easy, buddy. Go ahead. Call your flames of Udin. 
you still gonna die. All right. Let's get this guy crippled. I should say keep him crippled. See, eventually here I'll, I'll start breaking out the paralyzing shot on these guys. It's a legitimate strategy. <coughs> so there's the problem with starting out right with... Uh, out of water fury. All right, let's see what this war call. Yep. All right, so Elagas is gonna start with aim shots, and we'll see what. Yep. There's Elven Ridge. Boom. I still think that's one of our coolest looking sword skills, but maybe it's just me. All right. Time to put those old Tobies to good use, huh? It's about time I use some other than just hoarding them. <laughs> Damaging shield. Cool. Uh, after I get Moten shield, in all honesty, I, it's not that I don't care about the rest of his spirit powers, but I absolutely love Moten shield. It's crazy expensive, so, you know, again, uh, unless you're, unless you are, uh, building spirit, uh, that can, it can become a bit of a problem if you're trying to, <laughs> to use it a lot now. Granted, I, I, have a, I have a hard time believing that, uh, you're gonna need to use it a whole lot of times in one, in one battle, but, but, uh, who knows? You never know. Oh, did I hit him? I must have hit him with a paralyzing shot, huh? Yeah. Alright. Uh, I don't think these guys are weak at all to spirit powers. They're pretty tanky when it comes to those, so you... Uh, I guess I wouldn't expect to do a whole lot of damage. Uh, it's not a bad idea to to hit him with like hue hue armor from Hadhod or what is it shattering is it shattering strike with Barethorts or the, yeah there it is. Um, now I've done actually did, did a tiny little test earlier today and I I just wanted to check uh, if Hadhod's hue armor was in fact better and it is. Uh, it, anyway, it seemed to me, so I, basically what I did was I used hue armor on an enemy and then checked my damage uh, with crippling strike, and then I, or sorry, I used shattering strike first, and then I checked my damage, and then I used hue armor after, you know, on the same guy, and uh, I hit, I hit harder f uh, after the hue armor, so. Alright, what do we get here? Buckle of Moria Silver. I don't think I equipped this one. That's not, uh. Those weren't the stats that I was shooting for, so I, di I just didn't. Cracked Elstone of Earth Protection. Hmm. Okay. I don't know that anybody is weak against Earth-based skills, but... We'll see. Gosh, I'm trying to think of what actually uses Earth-based skills now. I think there's a, a caster in Helm's Deep, maybe? But man, that's that's a long ways off. And here's that treasure chest that we were looking at earlier. Ah, oh, and of course there's a battle. They're not gonna make it easy for us. That's okay. I think we can handle it. <coughs> Arrows of sleep. You're getting sleepy. All right, some valor going. Miss, ha <laughs> nice. All right, what do we got here? He's getting an impressive number of uh, 
of Axe And then he misses. Come on, buddy. And he's got Valor on him, too. That's always rough. Whack. Takes a, takes a gut shot. I like the arrow is still stuck in him, too, for a little while. This could be the time, this could be the time where I get the buff order right. Let's see it. Nice. Oh, Fellowship Grace ticked for 96. Okay, that means I must have put might on and I didn't see it. Womp womp. Drill the heal real quick so she gets some or so she gets the full amount of EXP. Or at least I suspect that was my plan. Oof da So we are we're basically in the area actually right now where I do uh, or I, I stopped for a little while and did a little bit of, of skilling or working on my uh, skills. Basically, I just run circles literally right where we're standing. Uh, but I did I did, did head up here a little bit farther and uh, basically made it to the next save point. And then I came back. So that is that is where you will see I, I did quite a bit of skilling up. And actually, oh, what do we have here? I think this is a hammer if they had HOD that I did not equip. Uh, the damage is good. The damage is really good on it, but um, I just stuck with the the speed on the the current axe that I was using. <sighs> Excuse me again. Um, if you're if you're building a more physical oriented character, you're almost always going to want to take. Uh, weapon upgrades uh, just because of the way the damage uh, is calculated on those All right, well we have two vets I see and an archer So obviously we'll try to get these vets down as soon as we can <clears throat> There's the stun strike. Alright, well, and that's what you get for not buffing stand fast right away. Although I didn't even get to see if Therathor indeed got a, got a turn first. like being stunned. How do you like it? <laughs> 
kind of like that it looks like she does like a little leg sweep almost with her blade. in that war call a lot. Actually, I really do like those uh, those skills. I don't know what it is about it. It, it actually just makes Barathor feel like he can, you know, kind of just use the leadership abilities and be like, hey, all you guys do the work for me, all right? <laughs> I don't know. It's really cool. As, I mean, I suppose technically, if you really wanted to, you wouldn't have to do anything with his sword skills. The kind of the entire game if you really didn't want to. Could just do strictly leadership and, and kind of just make everybody else do the damage. Uh, eventually he does get a skill though called uh, War War Cry. It's basically the upgraded version of War Call so it'll it'll make two other actually it says it makes three other allies uh, you know, do you take turns. Now, the thing is, though, most of the battles that you're in, you're only going to have a total of three people, so he will be the third person. And uh, from what I've seen, I'm trying to think of his earlier skills, but he's currently using. Oh boy, no, I gotta. Hang on. I'll actually have to go to him. I'm open real quick and see what it is. I want to say it's Ecthelian Wrath. I want to make sure I got the name right though. Yeah, Ecthelian Wrath. And I think uh, the skill he uses before that is uh, Citadel Rage. And then I don't know if, you know, if you don't have Citadel Rage yet, I don't know what he would use. Um, I'm not really sure on that. I guess it's pretty tough to to try to find that out, or it would be tough to find that. I guess I could, <laughs> I'm short of making a new game, but I don't know. <clears throat> Anywho, let's keep a move on. I guess long story short, uh, War Cry and War Call are awesome. I really like those skills. All right, so there is a big set of doors up here, and I think I, I don't know what happened here, but I kind of like, kind of like bugged out or something, because it's it's only supposed to let you approach so far, and then you're supposed to kind of go to the next area, <laughs> and I'm not sure what happened, but uh, it's letting me go all the way up to the doors and like not continue, so I had to come back down the stairs, and like try again. So I don't know if I just stepped in the wrong spot on my way up the stairs. But, uh, it, look at this. I was like, well, what the crap? <laughs> so, again, not really sure if this was a bug or something, but I was like, um, okay, what did I miss? And I'm like, um, okay, well, there's no other paths. I explored everything. What's, what's the deal here? I was like, oh, maybe did, did I miss something over here? Nope, that is a that is a dead end. So, all right, back up the stairs one more time. This should do it, though. And there you go. <laughs> so again, I'm not really sure what happened. This must be a burial house of great honor. I here lie the lords of Moria. Carefully, I don't want to join them. All right, here we are. We got our next troll fight. And another caster. So basically the same fight as we did earlier. Kill the baddies. Win the game. That's essentially what we have to do. No big deal, right? All right, let's get buffed up. Buff up the dudes. Alright, yeah, alright, 
starting right off with paralyzing shot. Not a bad plan. I feel like uh, being that I, <clears throat> being that I got a turn first with Barathor and got the Valor off, I felt like I was it was a little more comfortable to to use a paralyzing shot then. I think if Barathor wouldn't have got his turn first. I think crippling shot would have been a better choice, just because of the shorter uh, cooldown time on it. And boom, Hadhot puts that guy down. Learned Urukai Bane. Okay. I don't think I did much with Barakos. Swordcraft skills in, uh, or I should say, I don't know that I micromanaged them very much. Uh, and that's, I don't know, mostly because I just don't really use him that much. Uh, he does, I mean, I'm just trying to think of the, the ones that he has that are really good, and I mean, I know he's got, uh, I don't know, he's got some, uh, you know, there's some unique stuff. Number one, like, uh, we'll, we'll say, like, defensive, I think it's defensive strike, and that's basically just means that the enemy can't counterattack, that's, and that's useful. Uh, you know, there's times where maybe Barathor is kind of lowish on health, and you can't afford to be counterattacked, so that makes sense. Uh, and then he's got uh, some other ones that... Uh, now I can't turn into the name of it. Uh, anyways, he's got one that can't miss. And I think that one's cool. I mean, um, unfortunately with that one is it's so far down the path, I really wish they would have stuck that... You know, earlier in his uh, in his, his skill tree there, because you know sometimes the beginning of the game, well, especially for me anyway, you know I don't have a whole lot of dexterity, and in order to build up his sword skills a little easier, that would have been a nice option to have. But like I said, unfortunately, that's really far down his tree. So um, you know you can you can micromanage your way down there so that you can you can get there faster and that's actually a, that's a legitimate uh, thought but um, you know again I, I guess I just wish that they would have would have stuck that in uh, farther out or closer in the street and the other cool or the 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 downside though to having it being uh, so accurate is that uh, it doesn't do as much damage and uh, here is the helmet that I was talking about the, uh, for Hadhod, and uh, like I said earlier, I absolutely love it. I think it's the coolest helmet in the entire game. <laughs> Quite possibly the coolest helmet I've ever seen in any game ever. Now, you may not necessarily agree, but um, I love it. I think that this thing is just the coolest ever. Check that out. I think I do a little zoom up on his face, too. So you can see, but, um, all right, what else do we have? Oh, is this a blade for Barathor? I don't know. That's kind of, I think I'd rather stick with the speed and dex. Uh, again, I don't usually use his sword skills that much, so I didn't really care about the, the other one. And the band of fortification, that is a no-brainer. I think I definitely am going to be using that. Six speed, four dex. Yeah, that's got the stats I like, so... Uh, anyways, I am going to cut this here, and we will talk a little bit about uh, my, I guess, my leveling scheme uh, right after this. So uh, stay tuned, and thanks for watching.